All right, we are here at the Tortuga Surf Camp of Selina Jaco, and this is uh, Michael, the owner of the Tortuga Selina Jaco. And um, yes, uh, so Michael, um, thank you very much for uh, making some time to show us our rounds. And um, personally, I haven't uh, done surfing before, but I heard from fellow uh, digital nomads who were staying here like for a couple of months, uh, like four months, six months. Uh, they have very good experience uh, with Tortuga Surf Camp. So, my hi, my name is Guido from Nomadic Entrepreneurs and I'm a Dutch nomad. Consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell if you would like to learn more about Costa Rica digital nomad life and how you can become a digital nomad and work from any place in the world like Costa Rica. So, Michael, uh, welcome. Um, can you tell us something about uh, the Tortuga Surf Camp? Thank you. Yeah, Tortuga Surf Camp has been in business since 2007. Mm -hmm. We are, well, now we're now the leading brand of surf training in town, and we've been with Selena as a partner for about a year. And we recently um, expanded our operation to the Manuel Antonio location with the paddle boarding division down there. Oh, We're awesome. very happy about that. It's awesome. very stoked. Hey, I'm going to Manuel Antonio. That's good news, man. So I'll see you there for sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, I'll probably take some uh, surfing lessons uh, if I'm not uh, at the co working space. <laughs> so it's good to change from the laptop to the surfing. Um, and I see a, a lot of surf planks. I mean, I don't know nothing about surfing. so. Could you explain us uh, a little bit? We have a lot of equipment on this location, anything from 5'11 to 11 foot boards for all kinds of levels on hard tops and soft tops. Mm -hmm. um, the idea is to have as much equipment as we can have to assess as many surf levels as we can possibly assess, mm -hmm. regardless of the level of the student who will be able to go from anywhere from an 11 foot board to a 5.4 um, with the necessary time and the proper training, mm -hmm. it's very possible for everybody to accomplish those goals for sure. Okay, okay. And um, as I mentioned, uh, I, I, I don't know nothing about uh, surfing. Uh, I just heard uh, that uh, if you're a beginner, you, you get a higher, a taller surf Correct, plank yeah. and then you go like more or less your height, something Correct, like that. Correct, yes. Yeah. So we have a, a very established program that Basically, people earn their right to ride smaller boards as the program progresses. So oh, okay, they okay. all start on bigger boards, and as certain skills start to show on the clients, we start promoting them to smaller, more progressive boards. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And um, I see some equipment. See here, how do you call this? These are the leashes. Uh -huh. These are the lifelines, best friend and worst enemy of all students. <laughs> it attaches you to your board, but you have to learn to wear it properly. We also have rash guards for all the students and participants mm -hmm. so that, well, we can identify them on the water in a safe manner. Yeah. And they also oh, okay. protect themselves from sun rays and burning oh. from the boards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool, cool. And uh, let me see, I see some very big uh, boards. These are the paddle boards. These oh, are paddle the... boarding boards. Ah, so okay, these ones cool. are... Uh, Actually, it's the newest, fastest growing sport of water right now in the world. Awesome. Paddle boarding is very accessible to all people of all ages, and it's mm -hmm. become a really, really, yeah. really, really big um, part of our industry, and it's going to be the one that we're going to be developing in the Manuel Antonio location for Selena as well. Oh, cool, cool. And, and this is uh, more passive, uh, and is that correct? It's a little bit more passive in reference to surfing because yeah. you don't have to go through and come back through waves. Yeah. It's just like a flat water sport where you mm -hmm. paddle standing on the board. Mm -hmm. Even though it has a lot of cardio in it, it's a lot okay, of core okay. power yeah. type exercise, but okay, it's very cool. popular and it's super, super fun for, yeah. for locations like Manuel Antonio. Yeah, yeah, and it's very accessible for all type of ages. Uh, all type of ages, weights, and same as surfboards, they go in different sizes of shapes, depending on the on the student's weight and. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a pleasure for us to show you guys around. Um, now, don't forget to come and visit us in Jaco and Manuel Antonio locations for Selena and Tortuga Surf Camp. You can join our private lessons. They have a length of two hours for a fifty-dollar class and a two-to-one instructor-student ratio. 
We also have five lesson packages for $200 if you want to do something a little bit more elaborate. And of course, our workshops with apnea breathing exercises, surf skates, and paddle boarding, which is our new division. So I hope you guys enjoy our visit and we hope to see you guys down in Playa Jaco, Costa Rica pretty soon. Okay, thank you very much, Michael. Pura vida. Pura vida. <laughs> Are you ready or are you at least considering in becoming a digital nomad? Then I'm inviting you to follow the instructions in the first link below how to become a digital nomad in 2021 and work location independent just from your laptop and good internet and work from a place like Costa Rica.